got a new banjo. It's the gold tone five string cello banjo, 14 inch pot, Renaissance head, nylon strings, some of which are wound and some of which are plain. And what I'd like to do is talk about how I'm incorporating it into my claw hammer repertoire. I'm having a lot of fun with it. It has a really deep, well, it has the sound I was looking for, a deep, dark, growly sort of sound. And I got it with the help of Paul Roberts of BanjoCrazy.com. Paul is really committed to these cello banjos, and I certainly understand why. It's a lot of fun to play this. And what I'd like to do is talk about how I, I am using it as a claw hammer banjo. I've made some changes to how I play as a result of this instrument. And you can just pick one of these up and play it claw hammer style. What I've found is that I'm changing a little bit on how I'm approaching the tunes and the techniques I'm using with both left and right hands. First off, the neck is a little wider than I'm used to. And so for me, it's not really changing technique. It's just getting used to a wider neck and fatter strings. If you play guitar, it's probably nothing to you. To me, it's, it's been a little challenging, but I'm getting there, and I'm getting there pretty quickly. I've only been playing for a week. Um, what else? The strings are farther apart, so my claw has sort of opened up, and that was easy. And the other main difference to me is if you just pick this up and play it normal claw hammer style, your hand is probably going to end up here near where the neck meets the pot. And what works for me better, what I think sounds better, is closer to the bridge. So if you just pick this up and start claw hammering away, you're probably going to end up here. So Liberty, for example, might sound like this. Or something like that. To me, you might like that sound. To me, I like a little more distinction between the notes. So my right hand goes a lot closer to the bridge, and here's what it sounds like down there. That may not have sounded hugely different to you. Um, I think what really happens, if you're up here a lot, especially if you do a lot of brushes, to me everything starts to sort of crash together. Whereas when I'm down here, there's just more distinction between the notes and the resonance that I get. Is, I like the, the high end aspect of that. This is rounder and has more sustain. But this has a little more life to it, to me. So I think what I'll do is, uh, I guess I'll just tack on to this video some snippets of me playing some of the tunes that I've been working out on this. Um, bear in mind, I've only been playing it a week. My left hand's still getting used to it. Uh, and maybe that'll give you some ideas on what you could do with a cello banjo. <laughs> 